Hello everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Shovel Knight. Uh, last time we took out Pride Blue Keep and the opening plains area, and uh, between last time and this time I turned up the music volume because I noticed while watching that episode that it was lower than I would have liked. Uh, when I started up the game, this guy shifted over to the side, uh, and this time we're gonna deal with him. He was in the town when I ended, but... Uh, basically, that's just a, a little enemy encounter. Okay, that was close. Did miss it. What? Lots of treasure to be found here. It's kind of the point. Might as well use it, right? That's it. Ah, huh, I thought I remembered that one being one, too. Okay. Back to Night Slayer. The Lich Yard. Yeah, this one does not have... That, that's just King Knight's stage. As I mentioned... I believe I mentioned last time. So this one has this gimmick with these push things. Put them in here and bounce off of them. Those are cat bolts and they are very annoying. You bounce off of them, they do that thing, and if you hit them while they're doing that, then you hit them while they're lightninging, then they... Well, they damage you. You can bounce off of these, but only once, and they spawn those things. Uh... What were those called? Anyway, you can't bounce off the guys. Oh. Yeah. Okay. This is another one of my favorite tracks. Actually, you know what? I might be saying that a lot. Wait a minute, I'm trying to think of a, a main stage thing that isn't one of my favorites. Give me a moment. Uh... Oh, wait, this might be a thing. Okay, wait. Oh, man. I don't care that much for Polar Knight stage. I mean, that much relative to all of the others. The stage team touch is all real good. Secret up here. I mean, it's not very hidden, but it's can be hard to get to if you don't know what you're doing. Oh. Alright, let's not uh, lose that pile. Yeah, they don't always spawn. Okay. Yeah, they can't see you without their heads. So kind of clumsy. And... A super skeleton, I believe. Ah. Uh, you get on top of them and they're doing this, and it's pretty easy to deal with. Oh, 
diamond. <laughs> Let them sleep, like honestly. Okay, well not you. And darkness. That guy. Those areas get harder later on. This one's tricky. First try! Maybe it's not as tricky as I remember. This is also tricky because you can't see any of the platforms. But that's a music sheet. I think there's an area directly below this one, but I don't think you can fall into it. Like, it doesn't let you do that. That is a bottomless pit, no. And now there's these things. There's nothing, but it reacts and stands on it. But if I lure that guy onto it, then it starts to lower. And he can be crushed. Uh, but so did all the cold. He dropped. So, you know, be careful about that. Also, so can you. Um, if you're not careful. I brought a chalice before I got, before I came here. No. Yeah, uh, so they do rise sometimes if you trigger them to beyond where they started. Watch your jumps on this one though, spikes everywhere. Basically, the ones with the big crowns, it just means that they don't, they, you don't destroy the skulls and you knock them around, because you might need them for puzzles and stuff with those fallen platforms. Oh, is this our first encounter with spikes? It is. I think. Well, spikes are basically bottomless pits in that they kill you instantly. So, uh, don't, they tend to hurt. Spikes. Oh, right, I remember what the point of this was. It's just to give you a thing to knock onto this platform. There we go. Field, I have all the deals. You're not gonna believe what I just found in this chest. Want to see? And it's the phase locket, aka the most broken item in this campaign. Now I 
could break my way through these things, but honestly... I guess I don't drop that much gold, but... This link does cost a lot of magic power. I'll, I'll show you how it works. Yeah. This thing is a lot more valuable than trying to use the front. Oh yeah, this is a thing. Well, that's one way to kill a skeleton. Place. Now this skeleton I usually just try to bypass, but honestly... Checkpoint. I think we're in the home stretch now. Next checkpoint is back. I believe. Could be wrong. Let's see, it's combining a lot of the factors we learned earlier. We got these things, and we got the bushes and the darkness going on. We got moving platforms. These guys are skeletons, but they die in one hit. So you don't have to worry them about them after you touch the platform. Nice. Unless you somehow landed on the platform without feeling it would be pretty tricky. Yep, here we are. Spectre Knight, I think, is my favorite boss in Shovel of Hope, just because he's so consistent. And I'll show you what I mean in just a second. This is no place for the living mortal. You shall be summoned when it is your time. And everyone has a time, as we saw with your beloved Shield Knight. Lies! I won't believe such talk from phantoms. Your very existence is a vile deception. <laughs> the Enchantress is just full of surprises. She granted me new life. So that I might take yours. Alright, so he has patterns. And I'll see if I can remember what they are. He'll throw from one of the top two Kunus, and then... Depending on what Kunu he's catching from, you can... Always come around and hit him. This is his Judgment Rush most dangerous attack, but you can dodge it pretty easily once you know it's coming. Right, and I believe next is Q. He summons some skeletons. Oh, actually, if you do let them live, he will... He has a move where he destroys them to regain health. I believe after this next hit is where it's going to start getting tricky. Ah, I got him for two hits. Another skeleton thing? I thought you would have done the... 
There it is. He did the black cup. Ah, I got it. Okay. Well. And that's the end of Aridia 1. Although we will come back to go to like town and stuff from time to time. And this time we've got enemies to contend with. They do drop a lot of gold, but uh It's also a problem. You can't actually die here. Oh, hey. Meal ticket. Visit the gastronomer to upgrade your health. That is a reminder to head back to town. It actually says that in the... I believe the Arts and Artifacts book is they included the tickets after certain points to encourage that. <laughs> Wonderful! Let's see here. Oh, you found Waltz of the Travel King. On my first recital, the Travel King started flapping his fins and said, I'm so happy I could spit! What happened next? I prefer not to talk about it. Now that I have this music sheet, I can perform it for you at any time. Just ask! There's actually a few different uh, sprites for the meals he gives you. Uh, here, show us Okay, so this guy said that anybody- this- Well, this guy. Uh, King Knight reigns no moo? Huzzah! Now I can rule Pride Moo! Hurrah! I can't wait to greet old Plume and Beaky! They probably can't wait to see me! Those are the two, uh, Griffiths that are in, uh, Pride Moo Keep. And this! You defeated Spectre Knight! Now behold my greatest treasure! Dance! I love how everyone in the start celebrating. Oh, I can uh, press down to do my little crash thing. And you get the music sheet for it. Alright, might as well buy the other chalice. Now this guy isn't gonna have anything for us because we haven't missed anything. Got that already. Get another meal ticket on here. How much is the next one? You know what? Yeah, let's go all out. I'm not going to have much else to spend it on for a while. Sure. I don't use a lot of relics. I'm going to try and show them off somewhat, but... Like, when I'm doing my new Moo gameplay, I beat most of the bosses without using them at all, I think. Which... It's kind of just handicapping myself, but... Anyway, this gem thing popped up. And... It's an auto-scroller 
There's a lot of pressure. But you gotta you gotta keep up. Oh. Oh no. Oh okay. So don't get too distracted by the pressure. I'm gonna fix the low pass here. And then. And we've got these push things here, which we didn't uh, encounter them our first time in the So that's interesting. Alright, new area. There's a new village over there, but we can't quite get to it yet. So, let's start with, you know, I think Plague Knight stage should go first. He is my favorite. Yeah, these, uh, play rough when you stand on them, so don't go too long. Now these, these are dust blocks. We haven't seen dust blocks before. And basically, you can stand on them, but if you dig through, you don't bounce. Alright, this is an exploding rat. Uh, I can't remember if they had a fancy name or not. Oh, one thing about the chalices is they won't come up normally. Uh, you kind of have to go into the... the inventory to pick them out. They don't just appear for you. Like, if you roll through your items. So that's, uh... Oh, the exploding rats will leap at you if you draw close, so be careful. Uh, that is a... a macabre. Spelled like macabre, D-E. In case you were wondering. Oh, that was good. That was a good bounce save. They'll spawn every so often and drop a potion on you from the top of the screen. If you couldn't tell, one of my favorite things about this game is the soundtrack. It is composed by Jake Kaufman, and um, it is my favorite soundtrack. Yeah, yeah, uh, between this and the other campaigns, which we'll get to, uh, it is my favorite soundtrack in the... In games, um, which pretty much means it's my favorite soundtrack in pretty much any game. Because all of my favorite soundtracks are video game soundtracks. There's a few individual tracks I like, and like movies and stuff, but no entire soundtracks that I'm particularly. Oh, that was a plague minion. Um, he throws potions at you. Uh, Shovel Knight, um, was recently, or still is, I can't remember how it's still is, a cross-promotion thing with Arby's, and um, all of the Arby's promotional material that involves Plague Knight called him quote-unquote Dr. Knight, 
Complete with quotation marks around Doctor, actually. Because I guess Plague is a bit of a touchy tomb right now. But, uh... That was humorous. I haven't seen the real negative reaction to that, it's just a sort of funny detail. That is a fairy! They are the worst, they get close to you, they start uh, rushing you, and you can't do much about it. No, I can't do that. Okay. Um, so... Watch yourself around them. This is a plague gold armor, or a green gold armor, I don't know. And that area down there looks pretty dangerous. In the village or out in the field, I have all the deals. You're not gonna believe what I just found in this chest. Wanna see? Alchemy coin. Toss a coin for a chance at riches. We do want that. Now watch this. Yeah. Pretty good. Well, not a great item, but a pretty decent item. Uh, enemies want redrop gold. Um, if you kill them a second time. So don't bother with that. But uh, basically it makes enemies who do drop gold to drop moon coal, which is always nice. Now you can launch those that thing's projectiles back at it. Now what was that thing called? Considering looking up a bunch, bunch, up a bunch of stuff about the, the game um, before continuing after last episode, but I realized I kind of just want to see how much I can remember on my own. So yeah, in this area, the macabre are breaking the plant poops, so you gotta watch out for them. I mean, you gotta watch out for them anyway, but now you gotta watch out for them even more. And yes, they will, like, infinitely reset. Oh! I forgot about that. Uh... Yeah, you're supposed to use the... platforms to get up over it, but maybe I can... do him over here. Down top of him? Ah, oh, I thought I could do that. Oh. I didn't know that, that was there. I thought you could catch up with the alchemy coins and like, throw them up and bounce off of them. Okay. Well, I'll tell you what I'll do. This guy's a mini boss, and I'm gonna die to him on purpose. Gold, which shouldn't be an issue. No! I messed it up. Okay. There. No. Oh, okay. Well, I lost the gold out the mini boss. Yeah. 
I like half said it and then got interrupted by something else in the last episode. But yeah, if you die when you uh, have gold lost, then you don't get... Then you've lost it forever, basically. Like that! I am... Honestly, it isn't a ton. Like, there's plenty of gold throughout this game. Are you kidding me? Why didn't I jump high enough to? I'm not losing this gold, guys. I've lost enough. I probably just didn't fall down to jump up. Oh, it's the... Back. It is! Okay, that's nice. I thought I had lost that much health. And this goes pretty easy. It gets faster as time goes on in this spoon. standing next to him on the side, like this. It's a pretty easy way to get to him quickly. Alright, now these ones don't care if you're standing on them, they just go on and off with time to the holes. So it's another layer of caution, I suppose. Wait, no need me, knight. The Travel King commands me to share his bounty with you. I'll hail the Travel King, the king of fish and fruit. May long may his stem grow. Kind of invincibility one. I have two invincibility ones on me. I'm probably not going to use them for at the very least a long time. Oh yeah, and the difference between the green ones and the other, the other, the regular gold armors is that the green ones can jump. Uh, but they can also do this. Oh. Here we go. I don't care that much about the gold he drops. I care more about the gold I drop than the gold he drops. So to be fair, I drop more gold than he does. Bye. This guy's gonna be annoying because he's coming at me from. Oh man, that was great. Okay, this is this is. I have to be careful. Here. Nope. Nope. I should just use my. Yeah, I think I will. I don't think I've ever made it through this thing without either using the thing or taking damage. Okay, this one's easier. I say taking damage. Twice. Although to be fair, I took I took damage twice on the way on the other things earlier too. The official name is Fairies. I call them dust bunnies. Because that's what they look like to me. Not not actual dust bunnies, but like bunnies made out of dust. Oof. These are simulacrums. I don't know why Plague Knight designed them after me, but I choose to be honored by that.
flattered, even. bounce off of the dirt hanging on the wall there, you can bounce off the dirt on the ceiling and get inside. And I just totally missed that opportunity. And I, I don't know what I was waiting for. Like, I knew there was a way there, I should have just thought about it for another, like, two seconds, I would have had it. Show yourself, Plague Knight, your trickery will not stop me. Trickery. Hey. The fruits of my research are no mere trick. Boom! <laughs> now, let's have a lesson, shall we? I promise. <laughs> it will be enlightening. He always jumps over here first. So. And the ground is destructible by his bombs, but not our, our shovel. So... Oh. Yep. Plague Knight's thing is his unpredictability. He can fly everywhere and, like... He is, a uh, pain to fight damageless. But he's actually not that difficult. Just take the hits and... Rush in his face, and yeah, that's my advice for him. If you want to beat someone damageless, go for Specter Knight. Maybe King Knight, but Specter Knight's moves are all very, I mean, they're, they're, they're patterns. He has a pattern he goes by, and he doesn't. Once you learn how all of the different arcs go on his scythe. It's just a matter of learning how to avoid those arcs. That's another two. How long have I been going? Uh, let's keep going a little longer. We have a village to visit, but first off, who's this? News from Pride Move, West at the Fook. Oh, bother, I must have passed it already. Well met, Traveler! Ooh, maybe you can help me. I think I got lost, I was trying to... Wait a second, you're the knight with a shovel! I indeed, I am the, the knight with a shovel who has been menacing the village! I assure you, I have done no such... You're gonna use that shovel to bury innocent people? Your reign of terror ends here. Oof. This is Fighting With All Of Our Might, and it is a fantastic song that there is a fantastic remix of on the Arranged album. Uh, I, I recommend everyone check it out. That, that, that particular track from the Arranged album is just the best. Yeah, you can uh, get rid of those fireballs, and eventually he'll launch them at you. So, you do want to do that.
And there we go. Now the captions. His name is R E I Z E. I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be pronounced Rise. I think he makes a pun based off of that in one of the other campaigns. But. I'm not 100% on that. Do your worst, villain. Strike me down. I'm no villain. We're fighting a common enemy. You don't know who his enemy is. He hasn't. He's barely said anything about that. We. We are. Well, why didn't you say so? Now I feel. Now I feel like a. F wow. I feel like a fool now. Think nothing of it, friend. Knights are strongest when they work together. Yeah. Knights go. First vow. Always help a person in need. Knock him down, Shovel Knight. If you do not grab this music sheet, you have lost it. Just a note. Alright, let's visit the village and then we'll go to that, that gem thing over there. Our scouts saw your approach and we know of your quest. This is the Omo Outpost. The brave are holed up here, deep in enemy territory. It's dangerous. Get equipped. We languish like lovers while Treasure Knight sails under the waves in his dread iron whale. His treachery scales all the fish in the sea. He was a favor in thrashing for me. Yeah. There are a lot of characters who speak in rhyme. I'm so grumpy. I'm just not in good mood. I wish someone could chew me up. Well, okay, I'll give it a shot. Uh, why would they just leave the catapult unattended? The operator is out to launch. Alright. There's a whole bunch of jokes you can tell him too. Oh, that King Knight, he's so regal. Such a refined fashion sense. But honestly, I'd rather be your queen. You get out of here. Before we head in that area, let's get this and head to this area. First, we leave your land, but we'll need an armor upgrade. If you need something food, I'm your fella. Haha. <laughs> Alright. You can buy a bunch of different things, and you select one, and you have that poop. And then... That's it. Like, you, you can switch to a different one, uh, but you don't... They don't stack. So this is the final go. Drop half as much gold when you fall in battle. Conjurer's coat. Sacrifice some protection for a higher magic limit. And harvest magic from defeated foes. Dynamo mail. Can perform two... To Consecutive shovel drops to unleash a powerful charge slash. This one's my fa personal favorite. Mail of momentum, heavily plated. Keep your footing when struck by enemies, but stopping may be a problem. And ornate plate, flashy, acrobatic, useless. I am going to go ahead and pick this up. All right. Ah, it's a nice shovel blade you have there, lad, but I can improve it! Unlock its true abilities! Oh, man. Okay, well... Hit the trench blade. I can only afford the trench blade. Although I do have to drop by... Oh, at some point, cash in my music sheets. Alright! Oh, yep, the finest instruments, but they only really come to life in a duet! I do say so. Why, I haven't seen such a decadent airship since I sold mine. Ha! I don't really have enough gold to do anything here. Ah, oh, hats! My greatest passion! Nothing I enjoy more than the crisp snap of a well-tailored brim. With my vast riches, I could buy this old stove, but I forgot my wallet. Oh, upstanding knight, you could part with a paltry thousand gold, no? Fortunately, we cannot. 
Surely you're in a similar similar situation, friend. You've got your wallet too, yes? Yes, yeah, similar. We'll be back here. Believe this! Trouble friend, have you lost your way? By the best gear, the slickest armor, the strongest rope. Uh, pardon? Are you in need of help? Those stuck-up order of no quarter clans have no idea what they're missing. Hey you! You look like a knight! Uh, shovel knight, at your service, but I'm not in league with So I heard that if you beat a knight, you get to take their title, right? Please don't do something you'll regret. I don't want to the Great Bears Knight! I like the sound of that! They'll have no choice but to accept me now! Come on! Let's do this! Yeah. This guy is fighting with Oliver Might as his thing too. Uh, it's the Wandering Traveler's thing. Uh, he has his lasso, and he has lightning powers. And I have my... Double Drop thing. Which, even if he blocks me, allows me to get off the powerful swing. Dodge the lightning bolts. Oh, I missed that one. Oh, he's... Nice! No way! Not even my best moves could phase you! Well thought. If you can accept this feat like a true knight, you'll always have your dignity. Now they'll never let me into the order! Never, ever, ever! <laughs> oh, I can't talk to him anymore. Alright, let's get out of here. That was pleasant. I think we still have time to do this one, actually. Rex! Spikes! Only I could phase away to safety, I could cross and get so much treasure. That's a hint. And there's plenty of magic bottles to keep that running. This is basically just a challenge area to help you get a ton of gold. Oh, another thing about this, uh, amulet? Let's use stall in midair. Not useful a lot, but when it is useful, it's... It's pretty useful. I mean... Oh, I stayed there a little bit too long. Okay. Well, the treasure does not respawn. So... Walk through most of these temp- Oh, the... Pots will, but... Aside from that. Okay, I do have to cross this to get back to my treasure. These are booters. I don't think we've encountered them yet, but uh, they move diagonally, and that's basically all you need to know about them. I could fight them. Uh, it would be a bit tricky, though. Yeah, not worth it. Oh, that's the end. Another music sheet. What's that one? Was it the oval? Is it the map thing? Maybe. Because I'm not going to tell, be able to tell which uh, 
which music sheet I'm actually putting into this again. Forgot Watch Me Dance. Yeah, that's... Yeah. I can't really tell which music sheet is which. Just, uh... You should write a Tarantella. Last time I took the advice of a painter. Now that I have this music sheet, I can perform a few at any time. Just ask. So yeah, I don't know which one that was, because... Talking to him, uh... Doesn't reveal which one you got where. Unless you only pick up one at a time. So it's, uh... Kind of hard to tell. Let me pick up another shovel plate upgrade. And then we'll wrap things up. I really use Drop Spoke on Poopus, so I usually just avoid it. Alright. Tomorrow we take out Treasure Knight, Mole Knight, check out this area, and maybe this one. Or maybe the other way around, we check out that area and maybe this one. We'll see. Uh, speaking of seeing, I'll see you all then.